Hey, what's up, guys? So this is going to be my review for Gotham Season 4, Episode 2, The Fear Reaper. Gotham started out strong this year with a great first episode, and now a great second episode. Just like in season in Episode 1, by far the best part of this episode are the Batman parts. From what we've seen so far in Gotham, they've been doing a really great job of making their own version of Batman Year 1 or Batman Begins. So, the scene where Batman, Batman uh, got his new suit from Lucius Fox was, this was like, a really really cool scene what I hope they do is throughout the season have Bruce Bruce be in that suit almost to the end and then Bruce throughout the season struggles against bad guys and because he, he realizes that they're not scared of him and he has to create a symbol to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies and that's when he gets his second suit with the bat symbol on it and a cape and and then he scares people as I said in my trailer breakdown for this episode Scarecrow looks amazing. He is the best looking Scarecrow from anything ever. I think he actually looks better than the Arkham Knight version. And that one looks really cool. Even, he looked incredible, but I think he took off his mask way too much this episode. It's like when Kylo Ren took off his mask in Star Wars Force Awakens. He's really threatening when the mask is on, but when he takes it off, yeah, not so much. But when his mask is on, he was really, really good villain. Probably one of the best villains Gotham has ever had so far. I really like the growing tension between Gordon and the SCPD and Penguin. This tension will probably explain why Gordon ends up trusting Batman so much. Because right now, no one in the GCPD will work with him, so he's probably going to turn to Batman, or whatever his name is, to, to help him out. So at the end, he ends up trusting Batman more than he actually trusts the GCPD. Barbara's back, and I don't think they should have brought her back. Her death last year felt pretty final, and I don't. Even though it made it, may, it won't make any sense for Barbara Gordon, like I don't think that they, they could create any scenario where it would make sense where na where James or Gordon would name his daughter Barbara. They messed that up in when, when Barbara went crazy in season one. I think they messed that up, and. They can't get back from that. She, she should have stayed dead. But since she's back, she has this new operation. And the only character that I could think of with the resources to bring her back to life and to give her this operation is Rachel Ghoul. So I think Barbara could be working for Rachel Ghoul. So that scene where Poison Ivy t or just Ivy takes those potions, I think that was really good because. Those potions will probably give her her comic book powers of controlling plants, and she's probably gonna she's gonna turn green. I think Poison Ivy is the Batman villain they messed up the most on this show. Her name is Ivy Pepper instead of Pamela Isley. She isn't green, and she doesn't have zero. She doesn't have controlling plant powers. So this po these potions will probably make her all those things, and just a lot more comic book accurate, and that's pretty cool. So as I said in my last episode, uh, episode review, I will be having a favorite moment from every episode, and this this episode is at the end when Bruce was standing on that roof with his new suit. I think it looked really cool, and I think you can expect my favorite moment to be of Batman almost every episode on Gotham. So overall, this was a great episode. Not as good as episode one, but still pretty good. I give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. So what do you think about the episode? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.